If you think all motor oils are the same, think again. Because in a controlled test on 70 real engines, one oil grade protected like armor, and the other caused faster wear, higher fuel use, and up to 20 degree of hotter temperatures under load. What's more shocking? Most drivers are using the wrong one right now. Not because they made a mistake, but because manufacturers want them to. Zero W20 versus five W30. Which one really keeps your engine alive longer? The answer will surprise you, and it might make you rethink what's written in your owner's manual. Stay until the end, because I'll show you what top engine builders including Honda racing engineers and Mobile One's internal lab data revealed about this oil debate and why switching to the right one can mean the difference between 200,000 miles and 500,000 miles of reliable life. Section one, the real reason manufacturers push zero W20. Let's start with what few people talk about. Why did zero W20 suddenly become the standard oil for modern cars? It wasn't because engines got weaker, it was because governments got stricter. Car manufacturers are under massive pressure to meet EPA fuel economy targets and emission standards. Thinner oils like 0W20 reduce internal friction, giving 1-2% better fuel efficiency on paper, just enough to pass federal tests. But here's the dark side. In real-world driving, that thin viscosity doesn't always protect as well, especially when engines age past 100,000 miles or operate in hot climates. That's why Toyota mechanics, Subaru technicians, and even independent oil labs have noticed a pattern. Engines using 0W20 tend to develop more bearing wear and oil consumption issues once they age. So while 0W20 makes cars look cleaner on paper, it can sometimes trade long-term durability for short-term numbers. Section two, what zero W and five W actually mean without boring you. Most people misunderstand these numbers. They think zero W 20 means it's thinner than five W 30, but that's only half true. Here's the breakdown. The first number zero W or five W indicates how well the oil flows at cold temperatures. The W stands for winter. 0W flows better when cold, meaning faster lubrication during startup. The second number, 20 or 30, shows how thick it remains at operating temperature. So both oils start differently but behave very differently once hot. At high temperature, 20 stays thin, ideal for fuel economy. 5W30 stays thicker, ideal for protection under load. Now, if you're in cold northern states like Minnesota or Michigan, 20's cold start flow gives you a small advantage. But if you're in Arizona, Texas, or Florida, that thin oil might shear down faster, losing its protective film. The truth? Your zip code and driving style matter more than your manual's recommendation. Section 3. What the 70 Engine Test Revealed To find real answers, Automotive Research Group USA conducted a two-year study using 70 gasoline engines, from small 1.5L four-cylinders to 5.7L V8s, running both 0W20 and 5W30 under controlled loads. The results were shocking. Engines running 0W20 showed up to 12% more bearing wear after 100,000 simulated miles. Oil consumption increased by 18% on average. Average operating temperature was 19 degrees higher under highway load. However, fuel efficiency improved by 1.6%. Meanwhile, engines using 5W30 maintained stronger compression, lower valve wear, and reduced oil burn by half. The takeaway from their engineers? If longevity is your priority, 5W30 provides superior film strength and thermal stability, especially in engines past 80,000 miles. So yes, 0W20 saves a drop of fuel, but 5W30 saves your engine. Section 4. How Oil Shear Destroys Protection Over Time Here's where most people go wrong. They think, if I change my oil every 5,000 miles, I'm safe. 
but oil viscosity can shear down long before that. Shear means the oil molecules break apart under high heat and pressure, especially thin oils like 0W20. Once that happens, it no longer lubricates as designed. That's why longtime ASE certified mechanics often say, engines don't die because of old oil, they die because of thin oil. When viscosity drops too low, your metal parts are separated by microns. Or not at all. You start hearing ticking sounds, rough idle, or oil light flickers on long trips. Even brand new synthetic 0W20 oils can shear to a 15 weight equivalent after just 3,000 hard miles. Meanwhile, 5W30 resists that breakdown much longer thanks to thicker base stocks and higher heat resistance. If you regularly tow, drive in heat, or run long highway stretches, 5W30 wins every time. Section 5. The Myth of Thicker Oil Damages Engines Automakers and dealerships warn against using thicker oil grades. But here's the secret truth. That's mostly a warranty protection statement, not a performance one. Modern engines are designed with tight tolerances, yes, but 5W30 isn't too thick. It's still within spec for most engines worldwide. In fact, the same Toyota 2.5L engine that uses 0W20 in the US is recommended 5W30 in Europe and Australia, where it's hotter. Why? Because their environmental laws focus on durability, not just fuel economy. This means your engine isn't weaker, it's just tuned for different markets. So when your car's manual says 0W20 only, what it really means is, this is what we use to meet fuel economy targets. Not necessarily what's best for your engine long term. Section 6. Expert Opinions from the Field Let's hear from real experts who've seen what happens inside engines. Scotty Kilmer, a 50-year master mechanic, says, Once your car has 75,000 miles or more, go up to 5W30. The protection outweighs the microscopic fuel savings. Project Farm, known for unbiased tests, found that 5W30 maintained better wear resistance at both cold and hot temperatures. The difference in fuel economy between the two oils was less than 1 mpg. And Honda engineers in internal testing shared with suppliers discovered, under extreme heat cycles, 20 loses viscosity faster than 5W30, leading to potential ring wear over time. Section 7. What really happens inside your engine when oil gets too thin? Imagine two sheets of metal moving thousands of times per minute, separated by nothing but a film thinner than a human hair. That film is your engine oil. Now, when your oil is too thin, that protective layer breaks under pressure. Metal rubs on metal, microscopic but devastating over time. This creates heat, friction, and metal shavings that circulate through your oil system like sandpaper. In the 70 engine test, researchers noticed that engines using 0W20 began showing visible camshaft lobe wear after 90,000 simulated miles. The same engines using 5W30 had only minor polishing marks, no measurable loss in metal. Here's why. Thicker oil like 5W30 maintains film strength under extreme load. That means when you accelerate hard, tow, or drive uphill in summer heat, that thicker cushion keeps metal parts apart. Meanwhile, 0W20 can shear down, turning into something closer to a 15 weight. At that point, it's no longer strong enough to resist the pressures inside your bearings. It's not about being too thin or too thick. It's about how long it can hold its viscosity before collapsing. And that's where 5W30 wins every single time. Section 8. How to tell if your engine oil is too thin, no lab needed. Here's a simple three-step test used by real mechanics. Step 1. Listen on cold start. If you hear a brief ticking or knocking sound right after startup, your oil may be too thin to build pressure fast enough. 
Step 2. Check idle oil pressure. If you have a gauge, look for numbers below 20 BSI at warm idle. That's a red flag. Step 3. The finger test. After 3,000 miles, take a drop of your oil on your fingers. If it feels watery or runs instantly off your skin, it's breaking down. Fresh, strong oil should cling slightly between your fingers and feel slippery, not dry. These small checks can tell you more than any label on a bottle. Section 9. The Hidden Role of Additives in Oil Strength It's not just viscosity that matters, it's what's inside the oil. Modern synthetics are loaded with additive packages, anti-wear zinc, friction modifiers, and detergents. But here's something shocking. Because 0W20 oils must be ultra-thin, they often rely on more chemical modifiers to reach that flow rating. Those modifiers break down faster under heat, shortening oil life. Meanwhile, 5W30 starts with a naturally thicker base stock, meaning fewer additives are needed. Result, more stable protection, less volatility, and longer resistance to oxidation. Independent testing by PQIA labs found that premium 5W30 synthetics maintained 30% higher viscosity stability than 0W20 after 5,000 miles of hard use. So if you're using 0W20 and driving aggressively, your full synthetic might not stay synthetic for long. Section 10. Real-World Driving – City vs. Highway vs. Extreme Conditions Oil behaves differently depending on how you drive. Let's break it down. City driving, short trips, and stop-and-go traffic never let oil reach full operating temperature. Moisture and fuel dilution thin the oil even more. In this case, a slightly thicker grade like 5W30 helps maintain film strength between heat cycles. Highway driving. Constant RPMs generate heat over long periods. So W20 can shear down after hours of sustained load. Engines tested on freeways showed up to 20 degrees Fahrenheit higher oil temps with 0W20 compared to 5W30. Extreme heat or towing. This is where 5W30 absolutely dominates. It resists viscosity loss under load, keeping bearings protected and oil pressure stable. That's why most towing and fleet service manuals in hot states quietly recommend 5W30 or even 10W30. So, if you're a daily commuter in Phoenix or someone who tows or drives long highway stretches, 5W30 is not just okay, it's essential. Section in 11. What engine builders and mechanics use themselves. When engines come in for rebuilds, experienced mechanics see patterns and they talk about them. A veteran Toyota technician shared, we've torn down hundreds of 2.5 and 3.5s L engines. The ones fed 0W20 their whole life often have varnish and bearing polish. The ones on 5W30 look cleaner inside, even with more miles. Engine builders for LS and Coyote platforms, engines that regularly hit 6,000 RPM, overwhelmingly use 5W30 or 10W30 synthetics, even when manuals suggest thinner oils. Why? Stability. They know the oil's job is to stay strong under pressure, not just flow fast. Even Honda performance tuners in California often upgrade to 5W30 after the first 50,000 miles. They've measured less oil consumption and smoother valve operation. When people who've built engines for decades choose one viscosity over another, it's not marketing, it's survival. Section 12, when 0W20 actually wins and when it doesn't. Now, let's be fair, 20 isn't always the villain. There are specific situations where it makes perfect sense. You live in a cold climate where winter temps drop below chi feet. Your car is under factory warranty and you want zero risk of denial. You mostly drive short, light commutes with frequent oil changes. In these cases, the quicker flow and fuel savings of 0W20 can be beneficial. But once your car crosses 75,000 pounds to 100,000 miles, 
engine clearances naturally widen. At that point, 5W30's thicker cushion prevents wear that 0W20 can't handle anymore. That's why many independent shops and seasoned mechanics call 5W30 the retirement plan for aging engines. Section 13, the 70 engine test winner. Which oil brand came out on top? You've probably been wondering, which specific oil performed best? Out of 70 engines tested by the Automotive Research Group USA, the top performers were Mobile One Extended Performance 5W30, Best Wear Protection, Lowest Viscosity Loss, Excellent Thermal Stability, Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic 5W30, Strong Antioxidation and Detergent Balance, Castrol Edge 0W20, Best Cold Start Performance and Fuel Economy in Sub-Freezing Tests. So yes, 0W20 shines in the cold but 5W30 dominates everywhere else. The key is to match your oil to your environment and engine age, not just the label on the bottle. Section 14, Final Verdict, What You Should Actually Do If your car is under 60,000 miles in cold climate, stick with 0W20 Synthetic for warranty and startup protection. Between 60,000, 20,000 miles or driven in hot states, Step up to 5W30 Synthetic for better longevity. Towing, highway driving, or high performance, go with 5W30 Full Synthetic or even 10W30, depending on your manual's range. And remember, viscosity upgrades are best paired with regular oil analysis. You can send a small sample to Blackstone Labs or Oil Analyzers, Inc. They'll tell you exactly how your engine is wearing. That's what professionals do, because data never lies. Now, I want to know from you, what oil are you using right now? And have you ever noticed a difference after switching grades? Comment below with your engine type and what state you're in. Let's see how driving conditions affect results in real life. If you've used 0W20 all your life, are you ready to try 5W30 next oil change? Or do you think the manufacturers know best? Let's debate, respectfully, in the comments. Your experience might help another driver save their engine.